Hello, welcome to Yota's cooking blog. Now today I'm going to make some butternut squash soup and the ingredients are celery, carrots, onions, an apple, butternut squash, salt, cumin, pepper, and sage. Once I have everything chopped up, I will re-record and show you exact amounts that I'm using. Okay, here's my butternut squash, my carrots, celery, apple, and onions. And then I have my spices, which is salt, sage, cumin, and pepper. I have one and a half cups of celery, one and a half cups of carrots, and I, if you could see, I diced them really thin, and I did that on purpose because when I start to puree, I want to make sure that I puree everything. I don't want little bits left in the pot, but even though I might try as hard as I can, I might have one or two pieces. So the more I have puree all the way, then the less we have in the soup, okay? So spices. It's one teaspoon salt, half a tablespoon of sage, it's half a teaspoon of pepper, and half a teaspoon of cumin. Now I'm going to use all the pepper, excuse me, all the salt for sure. I will use all the sage for sure and I will put as much as I can depending on my, what flavoring I want on the cumin. But I would say that would be a good amount uh, for this soup and I have used that amount before. Um, I have never measured before. So uh, this is the first time because I usually just throw everything in and I'm okay. But since I want other people to try my food I need to measure so they know uh, exactly what I'm putting in there. So in the pot, I have warming up a half a cup of olive oil. To that olive oil, I'm gonna add the onion. I can't record and use my hands too. So um, after the onions, um, become translucent. I will add my celery and then my carrots and my apples and I'm going to be adding salt in between. So I want that flavor to come through on all the food. Um, now in the end if you feel that you need a little more salt or if you make this and you feel that it's too much salt next time you make it just cut down. For me um, this is the right amount. Um, we'll come back in a second. So here we are. I have the carrots in there, the celery, the apple. Now if you notice I left the skin on the apple. I left the skin on the apple on purpose because I want this to be a nutritious meal. Now you might say, well if you want this to be a nutritious meal, why'd you put a half a cup of olive oil in there? Well, I think olive oil is very good for us slightly away. It has the omega-3s we need and since this is going to be a vegan meal um, and the reason um, it's vegan, I don't want any animal product in there as um, I want it to be, um, I want to be able to eat it while I'm fasting for Lent and uh, part of uh, the Orthodox Christian tradition is you do not add any animal product in your food if you're going to be fasting. Now depending on the holiday we can eat some fish at times um, but other than that no animal products. So uh, I might make a variation might add some chicken broth to this. Um, you can do this on your own too uh, but for me um, no animal product will go in here so that means that I'm not going to be adding any uh, milk or milk products or any such thing. So this is um, getting there. So I'm going to go ahead and add 
and the butternut squash. And you can see this is 14 cups of butternut squash. 14 cups. That's a lot of butternut squash. But I'm going to fill it up with water. There you have it. Stir it all in. That's all the um, the sage that's floating around. And then I'm going to add the rest of my salt and my pepper, and I'm going to make give it another stir. I'm going to put the cover on it, and I'm going to have it cook for probably 40 to 45 minutes, depending on tenderness. I'm going to check it out. If it's not cooked, I'll cook it a little longer. If it's ready, then I'll record it again so you can see what I do with it next. Thank you. So here we are with a sur submersible blender. We're going to blend this. We're going to work with one hand. I'm going to take it off recording, show you what the end results of this soup is. Okay, so I finished pureeing the soup and I used this spatula with holes in it to get any big pieces out. Uh, but as you can see, you know, um, it's not like totally smooth. But it tastes good and I hope you like it. So serve it up nice and warm. Um, some nice Italian bread. No butter, unless you can eat it. But if you're fasting for Easter, maybe that's something so you can receive communion.